Hey folks, Sam here with Sam Wood Outdoors. Hey, uh, I was in the shop today, got some stuff I had to get done, and uh, I was in there welding. Welding is kind of where I come up with all my crazy ideas. I get underneath that welding helmet and I start to think. And uh, you know, one thing I've always wanted to do, um, let me straighten that, I always wanted to make a knife. And you know, I don't know why I don't make one. I have a forge, because I, I, I use a forge on part of making uh, the badass sling bow. And I don't have an anvil, but I got a vise with a flat spot on it, and I got a big hammer. And then uh, for metal, you know, I, I and how it came to me is I uh, I, I had to throw a, I had a dull end mill, and I threw it away. But anyways, I got this box of uh, end mills and drill bits and kind of this hardened metal that scrap prices ain't worth nothing. So let's see what I can do with it. And I thought, hey, I'll make a knife. You know, I got, uh, got these big end mills here we use. Um, got a smaller one there, as you can see. It got all burnt to shit. I don't know if it got ran backwards or what, but uh, thinking that's pretty good size. We could probably, compared to my finger there, we could probably make a knife out of that. Then I got some uh, busted drill bits and, and dull drill bits and stuff like that. I, I, some of them we sharpen and some of them, uh, they just get, you know, Sometimes it's cheaper just to pull it off and do it. So I'm thinking I'm going to make and work on two knives. One with a drill bit and one with an end mill. This shit is really, really hard. I don't know how it's going to react. I'm not really worried about a handle right now because I got deer horn and, you know, we got wood and we can buy handles and scales. They call them scales, knife handles, knife scales. So um, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. You know, uh, Part of Samwood Outdoors is not always outdoors. It's kind of all about my life and the things I do and things I try and, and I hope that you guys try them through. I got a lot of younger followers that are, you know, they could probably do, figure out some of this stuff and do it at home. So let's make a knife. All right guys, first things first, I welded the drill bit onto a long piece of scrap rod here because we're going to, let me show you this, we're gonna put it in the forge here after we get it going and it's going to get hot so there ain't going to be a way to hold it so I made this long handle and we'll see how that does so we're going to get the forge fired up and then we're going to put some heat to this baby I'm going to lose a lot of heat in the forge because I'm going to leave one end open so I can show you what I got going on and again I don't know how this is going to turn out all right guys got my forge going and uh, we're going to go ahead. Usually I would close this end up if I'm going to do that, but I want to keep it open for video. So we're going to get our drill bit in there and we're going to get it. Uh, we're going to back it up here a little. There we go. Right there. All right, we're going to let that baby get hot and then we're going to pull it out and do some beat. All right, guys, our drill bit is like red hot. So we're going to. Here's some beat on it. smithing when you light your forge don't leave your lighter stick too close that son of a bitch will blow up and scare the dog shit out of you and burn the hair off the crack of your ass um it's actually turning out pretty cool i've been beating on it um and uh the, this is a drill bit so i got these really kind of cool 
little marks left in there, the swirls from the drill bit, but it's coming along. I think all I want to do is maybe thin it out a little bit and get it more into a nice shape and then maybe work on it with the grinder. So I'm going to do a little more beating and heating up and then I'm going to come back and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. I know I do got to center it more, you see that? It's kind of off center, so I got to work on centering it more. Um, but that's all going to be heat and hammer, so it's actually coming along pretty cool. It's actually pretty easy, so uh, check it out. I'll be back. I did, uh, I got it beat down pretty good. I got one side thinner than the other, kind of to make it like a knife, but I, I could see where uh, probably an anvil or something would come into play there, and you know, maybe a little simpler tools. I mean, all I got is this BFH, which is a big F and hammer, and then uh, LFH, which is a little F and hammer. But it's actually turned out pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but I got some of the, the twist still left in, and it left a little puck marks, and and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm not going to go and try to beat that out. Um, but I'm going to let it cool down, I think. And then uh, I'm going to work more on the grinder and the profile and kind of do some more research. So far on a scale of 1 to 10 for how hard it is to do this little project, I'd give it a 4. I think the hardest thing you're going to have is getting a torch. But I think you get a propane, you know, a cutting torch or uh, some kind of, in, there's a way you guys can figure out to heat that metal up to red hot. But uh, everything else is pretty simple. So I'm pretty stoked up, man. It's, uh, you know, life is a journey. And I'm really starting to explore a lot of things. You see me go down my my meats and all the stuff and the crazy stuff I'm eating. And, you know, just kind of, I don't see why nobody, if anybody wants to make a knife, you should make a knife. I always want to make a knife. So I'm going to make a knife. We'll see how it turns out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll come back when this thing's cooled down and we're ready to do some grinding. Alright guys, I got it roughed out. Um, so I'm going to start touching it up with the grinder, but I have these, it's actually a really soft flapper disc is what they call it. And uh, they remove a lot of material, but they do a really nice job of being able to control it. So I got it locked in my vise here and we're going to start working on it. Flip it over and work that edge. Get it down profile so we can get an edge on this thing. So we're gonna keep going on this. Not gonna bore you with all of the details, but that flapper disc, you can uh, put a lot of pressure on it and really not screw something up too bad so we're just going to keep working our edge and uh and we're going to see where this goes but i'm having fun it's pretty cool i think you guys uh all right guys i got try. it uh i got it roughed out pretty good i don't know if you can see that i mean it looks cool it's got it's kind of ugly but it looks cool um i got a really good spot you know i'm working a good edge in it i use my little uh a little belt sander there to uh refine it a little bit um yeah, it's coming along. Like I said, it's an ugly son of a bitch, but it's actually pretty cool right, looking. Guys, here it is. Pretty much. I did cut the, the end off now because it's, it's easier to work with on the grinder. So now I got it pretty, uh, pretty friggin' close. It's ugly as shit, but it's cool as hell. I like it. Um, I think it's going to work good for a good little skin and knife. That's kind of what I want to turn it into. Um, so... What I'm going to do now is I think i got to heat treat it. I'm going to go do what everybody should do. Go look on YouTube and find out how I can heat treat this knife. I'm going to heat treat it, and then I'm going to put an edge on it and a handle. And <laughs> it's been a pretty freaking cool project. Uh, I don't have too much time into it, maybe like an hour. Um, and I got it this far. I, I'm sure the next part is going to be a little bit different. But I'm pretty happy with it. And... Uh, I'll be back and we'll do some heat treating. All right, folks, get some investigating. We're on to the next part of our knife. Uh, we got to heat treat it, harden it. So what we're going to do is we got a torch. We're going to 
to heat this up until it's red hot. And then I got a magnet. And you need to heat it up until it's no longer sticks to a magnet. And then you got it hot enough. I don't know what all that's about, but it is what it is. Then I got some motor around here. We're going to dip it down in. So, let's get started. And I know, no filming. You could be doing better, but it is what it is, guys. And I think uh, when you get this to the, it allows the uh, carbon to go down in from the motor oil to get into your knife blade. So, get that hot. And there it is, no longer magnetized. We're going to do it just like that. And she's ready to go with the oil. Just kind of swirl it around. That's a pretty easy step right there. You see what it looks like when we bring it out. So, the next step is we have to put it in an oven to temper it. Right now it's so brittle that it would break. So we have to temper the knife. That will be our next step. We'll be back. All right, now we, uh, we heat treated it, which made it really, really hard. And now we have to, what they call temper it, which means make it softer. It's a kind of a back and forth deal. So anyways, did a bunch of research. Um, and people are saying anywhere between 200 to 350, but more people are saying 350 degrees. So I got this little electric oven, set it on bake, set it on 350 degrees. And then uh, we're going to do this for two hours. Set that baby in there. Two hours, and then we're just going to let it turn off and cool down, so I'll come back to it tomorrow morning, um, and then we can go on the handle and get this baby sharpened. So, so far, like I said, it's been a pretty cool little project. Yeah, I got me a, one of my mule deer sheds here. Very nice little shed. What I'm thinking is, this right here, that will make a nice custom BB shooting slingshot and then I got this single tine here um, that I'm thinking will be a good little a good little knife handle for my knife so that's where we're at we're gonna make uh, the knife handle <clears throat> all right folks got my drill press here and uh, I got my deer hand antler uh, tip there got it in a vise we're going to just drill it nice and slow, see how it works out. Never done this before, so... Oh. I don't want to use any oil. I don't want to heat it up. all right here it is i test fitted the handle um you know and i got it to where it feels good in my hand so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a mark there so i know which way the blade goes um when i epoxy it in there i'm not going to guess because right here is the most comfortable feeling in my hand i had to turn it and check all four sides you know uh and the next thing i'm going to do is I'm going to round these edges because they're pretty sharp. So I'm going to round them off and make them look nice before I epoxy this all together. And then uh, we're going to come back. We're going to put an edge on this bad boy and see what it'll do. But yeah, it fits pretty nice. You'll be able to uh, like jab somebody with that side too. So no, uh, almost done. Pretty excited. All right, guys, here's what I did. That's a two-part epoxy. Mixed up a little bit of it. And then I put it inside my deer antler handle and then I push the knife in. I wouldn't recommend that 
because it seemed to have gotten an air pocket in there and it was really, really hard to push in. Um, so then I kind of cleaned that hole out, wrapped it, put it around the knife blade, and then just stuck that in the handle there. So there it is. We're going to let that dry. We made sure it had a good seal. Um, I got a little bit of a gap there on that side. I'm probably going to fill it in a little bit more, but we're just going to let that dry and uh, then we're going to sharpen it up. You know, the next knife making video I do, I'll have somebody film it for me. This was kind of just an off the wall project and, you know, sometimes you got to self film. Uh, so that's that. We're going to come back, sharpen her up, and she's going to be done. Alright guys, there it is. It's a little rough. I mean, there it's straight. You flip it over here, it's a little crooked, off-centered, but it feels really good in the hand. Fits perfect. The hardest part about this whole knife was getting the edge on it. I had to do a little bit on the, the belt sander. Um, then I took my sharpening wheels and I did it. Uh, it worked out really good. Um, I finally got it sharp enough. You see here. To shave the hair off my arm. So, pretty proud of it. It's a heck of a knife. And you want to know what? The best part about this whole knife is it might be ugly. Melissa thinks it looks like a shank. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's sharp as hell. I did it all by myself. Uh, and I tried something that was totally out of my comfort zone. And if you guys get anything out of Samwood Outdoors, I hope you get the fact that you need to try things out of your comfort zone. You need to live life. You need to go out there and enjoy it. And you need to have fun.